Ever pondered about how aviation personnel are licensed and certified? Well, much of it comes down to a document known as ICAO Annex 1, or Personnel Licensing. This comprehensive guide, issued by the International Civil Aviation Organization, sets the global standards and recommended practices for the licensing and certification of aviation personnel. Let's delve into the key aspects of ICAO Annex 1. Firstly, Annex 1 defines the categories and classes of licenses for a variety of aviation personnel, including pilots, air traffic controllers, aircraft maintenance engineers, and flight dispatchers. It's here where the specific qualifications, minimum age, experience, and medical fitness standards are laid out for each category. Secondly, the document establishes the medical standards that aviation personnel must meet. These include physical and mental health standards, ensuring that individuals are medically fit to perform their duties safely. The criteria for these medical examinations vary, depending on the specific license category and job role responsibilities. Thirdly, Annex 1 outlines the training and qualification standards for aviation personnel. This includes the curriculum and syllabus for various training programs, detailing the knowledge, skills and experience required for each license category and class. It also guides the procedures for conducting examinations, assessments and proficiency checks. Fourthly, the importance of effective communication in aviation operations is highlighted through language proficiency requirements. Annex 1 sets standards for language proficiency assessments and the proficiency levels required for different roles within the industry. Of particular note is the emphasis on proficiency in the English language, given its status as the international language of aviation. Fifthly, Annex 1 includes provisions for maintaining currency and recency of experience for licensed aviation personnel. Regular training, proficiency checks and flight experience are required to ensure individuals remain competent and proficient in their roles, crucial for maintaining the safety and efficiency of aviation operations. Finally, Annex 1 covers the issuance of endorsements and ratings on licenses, such as type ratings for specific aircraft or instrument ratings for flying in certain weather conditions. The requirements and procedures for obtaining and maintaining these endorsements and ratings are outlined here. In conclusion, ICAO Annex 1 plays a vital role in establishing standardized licensing and certification requirements for aviation personnel worldwide. By adhering to the standards and recommended practices in Annex 1, member states can ensure the competency and proficiency of individuals working in the aviation industry, thereby enhancing safety, efficiency and reliability in air transportation. So the next time you board a flight, spare a thought for ICAO Annex 1, the unsung hero that ensures your pilots, air traffic controllers and other aviation personnel are up to the task.